Hey everybody, it's your girl Bria Van Kooten here, and I hope you guys enjoyed my An Outfit a Day in June lookbook month. It is over now, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys check out the three videos that I did post of the lookbooks. And now July is around the corner. Today is Jul June 29th. So yeah, tomorrow's the last day of June, and I will be starting July Collaboration Month, which it sounds like it sounds. I'll be collaborating with other YouTubers and just like some of my friends and people that want to be on my show, and I'll be collaborating with them, doing different like tags and fashion stuff. <laughs> so we'll be doing that for the month of July, and for the month of July, I will be doing two videos a week. Yes, I said two videos a week. I know that sounds like a lot of work, but I want to do it because, yeah, it's just going to be fun. So I will have a new video for you guys every week on Monday and Friday. So it'll be two videos, one on Monday and one on Friday. So the video that I will be recording today is the BT Awards Fashion Review, and you'll be seeing that today on Monday, and you'll see a new video this Friday. So I hope you guys enjoy this collaboration month. I hope you guys enjoyed my lookbook month. And... Yeah, thank you guys. Hello to my new subscribers. I see you have some new subscribers. Welcome to the Bria's Closet family. I hope you guys stick around and just continue on this journey, this YouTube journey with me. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you guys enjoy my BET Awards special. And I'll see you guys later. Peace and love. Bria Van Kooten here and today I will be doing the BET Awards fashion review. If you guys watched BET last night then you saw that the BET Awards was on and today I have my friend Brittany here with me and we're going to do as usual you know I like to talk about the award shows so we're going to talk about the award shows together. So Brittany will introduce herself, tell her your Instagram name and a little bit about herself. So. Hi guys I'm Brittany the Vlogger. My Instagram is Brittany the Vlogger underscore I think. I'll, <laughs> I'll put it on the meet so you guys will <laughs> see. Yeah, so see. <laughs> see, I'm a blogger slash writer slash shit talker. Don't need to be so blunt, but it's true. But yeah, I'm Future so, Wendy Williams. Like she said. I'm just happy to be here with Bria because I just admire her and she inspires me. But oh, <laughs> I'm No, seriously, you do. <laughs> nice. And you know, I obviously I always invite more people to come. But yes, so I always have to give props to people that actually show up because I mean, yeah, it's fun to just be on camera and just talk about smoking shit all day. It's fun, why not? So we're just gonna jump right into it. I was just telling Brittany I didn't choose anything, so we're gonna randomly just choose. pick what we talk about. So let's see. The first, I was talk about Zendaya <laughs> just because okay. I see her first. Okay, I always say my let my guests go first. So what did you think? About okay, Zendaya, what she had. Right. Okay, Zendaya. Yeah. You know, with her being a teenager, I thought it was age appropriate. You know, she is fit her body type perfectly. I just didn't like the hair. You know, yeah. I hate to be mean because she made a comment that everybody's coming for her hair. But well, it's true. It was kind of hair was too grown. She should Thank have you. a nice little thirty inch um, <laughs> flat. I said they have a lot of hair, flat. but she, you know, she's wearing a wig, so he yeah, has like, a lot like of hair. Yeah, it looks like a wig. Like you know, I need these these, these famous people to act like they have coins. Yeah, get your hair done. Cause the outfit was cute, though. I give it to Zendaya. She kept the age appropriate with the hair. Ooh. Now I agree with Brittany. Definitely <laughs> the hair. I feel like she looked old. She's only eighteen. I feel like it aged her mm. and it made her look older. Like. Mm. Like, I don't know. I know you, you, you she, because she Instagrammed the thing all, people don't, this, when people don't like it here, they talk about it. It was cute, because then they don't care what she say. Like, I love that about her. She's blunt, but the hair, no. I wasn't feeling it. Like, I like the outfit. I just didn't think it was BT Awards ready. Mm -mm. That's what I did. I like the outfit, because I would wear something like that. It was more like the Nickelodeon. Award. Right. Something like cutesy. It wasn't BT Awards or like an after party. You know, her father was her date, so. I guess. <laughs> 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 I guess, I guess, but the hair, mm -mm, the hair could go. Oh, I didn't really, I didn't, she looked old, but she wanted to look old. And I love you, you know you're my sis, so. We still love you, but I didn't like that. But let's move on to Laverne Cox. Brittany just said, I thought she was a man. She Ooh. is a man, but she wasn't a man. Yeah, she of course, is. I think she was active. 
There's so many people who are white on. Yeah, there she is. Yeah. Yes. So, she is a man. <laughs> well, she was I a man. Know, cause she is a uh, gorgeous. <laughs> She's transgender. Yeah. Oh, she fooled me. Oh, gosh, she fooled me. Now, LeBron Cox slays. I love this jumpsuit. She had like a purple jumpsuit hair parted to the right. I loved it. I love the gold belt around like the waist. It was just perfect. The cleavage was on point. I love the chain necklace. It was she was amazing. Like I, she was the first picture that I posted on Instagram yesterday and I was like, oh my God, yes. Let's get this red carpet started. Like, she looks good. And even when she came if you guys watched the award show, she came on stage with Gabrielle Union that did this bit where they like had the same outfit on or whatever. I was like, wait, they came because I wanted to Okay, but, but it was cute. She looked good too in that all white, definitely. She looked really good. I really liked it. I felt like the jumper, I don't know, it, I feel like it brought her brown skin out. I feel like, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. certain people don't know how to dress with their skin complexion. Definitely. And this was a perfect color for her skin complexion. Her hair was slayed from Definitely. Gold. And, and exactly, know, it went with the blonde. I like how the blonde looked like the Yes, dance, like her skin <laughs> and the. You know, perfect. I have nothing negative to say about her. She slays and she slays in the she arms. She's black. She slays on these magazine covers. She just slays all day. She yes, looks so good. good. Work. Let's go to a man. Let's talk about my boo. This is my new boo. Jadena. He's so okay. cute. He's a version of a classic man. Oh my like god. No, Jadena is so cute. Like <laughs> he's just different. Oh. He's different. And I feel yeah. like the music industry needs yes. more people like this because yes. you know they're not following trends. They're not trying to be like everybody else. They're not trying to yes. jump on the bandwagon. Right. He different. was on the red carpet talking about the type of suit that you wear for the heat. Who man said talking about the red carpet, talking about this type this is the type of suit that you wear in the heat. So like I'm like, ooh, like he's just, he's so cute ooh. to me. I don't know he's so cute. And then like I love Janelle Monet and I love her style. So then they, this is like the male version of Janelle. Her, like if like if they if they got together. Hashtag that. Hashtag yes. that. Ooh, they, if they got together, if they oh you never it would be a power couple, like they just they look good together. They definitely do. And their performance was cute. Yes. It was real cute. Yes. So since we're talking about Janelle Monae, let's just go to her. Go to Janelle Monae. Oh there. Yes, I call Janelle Super Slay because you know she always wears these capes and she's like a superhero. Yes. So her name is Super Slay. Like Super she Slay looks room. amazing. I love the all black. I always say all black is a little bit too much because it's, it's LA. I know it's hot, but it wasn't leather, so I guess. She could go with it. The cape was cute. I love the hair. And she slayed her performance. That song, Yoga is my song. Yeah, Yoga is really a legit song. That's my song. She's making statements. Now, that's my song. The cape, she did it for me. Just, just, just the, the whole cape, cape alone. The cape, the cape. She just had on a two piece on the day and I was Yes, it's just the, her cape is just signature. Mm -hmm. and it's her. It's like, can't nobody else do it and slay it. Because I would be like, girl, you sit down, go to sleep. Have several. Several. Nah, yeah, not your normal name. Several. Leave her cape with her. <laughs> she did that. She definitely did that. Yeah. She did that. Super slay for real, for real. No, let's go. Who you? You can choose. You can choose. Um, ooh, who I want? Oh, God. Let's talk about Dej you know, Loaf. Dej Loaf looks like a computer chair. Besides a black her looking like a computer chair, I just felt like it wasn't, the outfit wasn't her. I, it oh, wasn't her. You see Dej Loaf look good. Did you see her feet? You know. <laughs> yeah. Her music is good though. You know, I would never take that away yes, from her. Yes, but this but, is not. The outfit she seemed uncomfortable. She seemed like it was not her. And my thing is, these people need to let their stylists know, hey, you're my stylist. But we're going to incorporate what I like. And that's why I love Rihanna. Because at the end of the day, she's so Rihanna with what exactly, she, like. she goes with what Rihanna is, not right. with the stylist right. is. I'm not dressing like my And that stylist. is how you should be. Like, when I even when I style my little people to love stuff. <laughs> And I always go with what they want in the end of the day. They're like, oh, Rhea, do what you want. But no, because at the end of the day, Rhea's not wearing it. Exactly. You're wearing it. So you should, I pick out stuff, you like it, you don't say it. Like, this was just not it. The, yeah, it wasn't the, it for me. I didn't like the lace with the panty and the see-through. It was. I would rather her get on stage with the linen white pants Seriously. and the bra type. With the fur coat. Exactly, but then again. that's you. We know that's you, so now we can't sit there and I be like, what did you do? She looked like she was wearing a, a, a computer chair with a bulletproof vest. Like, it was just... Ooh. 
Next like time, Dave's go, wear something you want to wear. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. This is what my blue little mama, because everybody want to call little mama, talk about she just made a Target commercial. Ah! Like, Wait, they always do this over here. Right here. Right here. Okay, let's just, let's start with the outfit since that's what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really like the outfit. We could just yeah. start with that. But, I'm going to need everybody to leave little mama alone just because y'all are so mad about her interrupting mm -hmm. Jay-Z and Alicia Keys. Yeah. Jay-Z, I'm sure Jay-Z and Alicia Keys are yeah. over it. Why are you guys still over it? Y'all not getting a paycheck or nothing to be mad at little mama. She came in the TLC movie and slayed over everybody, Ooh. over Kiki Palmer, she over Juice Sedora, over everybody. Definitely. And y'all was coming for her even before the movie and after the movie. I would say, oh, little mama did her thing. Yes, she did. And her lip gloss is still popping. <sighs> and Sausage is a popping ass song. I do not care what nobody said. That song is really popping. I don't care, but yeah. You know, to the sausage song. Just leave her alone. Right. Leave her alone. People who don't have nothing else to do to sit on Facebook and sit on Instagram and just talk about her. Leave her alone. Even leave her alone, Charlemagne. Leave her alone. Cause your ass is getting knocked out on TV. And you're she's not cute, Charlemagne. Exactly looking like a damn battery. Sit, sit down. <laughs> sit down. Leave her alone. You know, a battery. Oh. Look like a goddamn battery. Not sit a battery. Down. Down. Little mama, the outfit for the red carpet. We've been there, done that. We've seen right. that. I wish the pants were fitted. Yeah. That's what's messing it up for me. And it's because she, you know, I feel like she's not embracing her new body size. Even yeah. when she danced, I yeah. feel like she's not dancing hard. Exactly. Like, that's my only thing with her. But other than that, little mama, right. I'm seeing you. Fat. The hair was slain. The that's hair true. was nice. Basically. Yes, but the outfit come a little harder. And me. everybody stop saying, um, I need a picture of her and Bow Wow together. Ah! I'm gonna insert a picture here so you guys can see that Bow Wow Sean Moss is not Lil Mama. <laughs> <laughs> so, cause y'all need to leave Lil Mama talking about Bow Wow. Ooh, Ooh, look at Bow Wow. Let's talk about Karuchi. Lord, Lord. Karuchi, stay out of 10 Spot and easy pickings. I'm gonna need you to stop it, please. And then you, you, you bringing out the, um, the gray weave. How Didn't Rihanna do that? To go. Didn't Rihanna do that? Good night. You know, Karuchi, I'm gonna need for you to get you, to, to get it together. You know, stop using Chris Brown as a platform, please. Stop it. And I did not like this. You too much of a stylist. You're not no damn stylist with this nasty looking Reese's cut bra on. <laughs> Yo, she looked like a whole candy bar. Her bra looked like Reese's, yeah. and her outfit looked like cookies and cream. cream. Her oh my, it does. I want a cookie and cream. Right? That sounds too good right now. Too. It really does. Her body's on point though. Yeah. Don't she? That's yeah. stomach. That's stomach. I can't even comment on that. But, but mm, my mind. The hair. And you come out with a clothing line? Ariana, come out with a clothing line? You better, that clothing line, you better put that to the side with me. But let's go to all this I've seen. Everybody's blue. Oh, what do you get? And it's purple. I don't know. First of all, I'm not like a crazy August I've seen a fan like all these girls out here. I don't know. Are you? I love his music. But like, you are know. you like, no, I'm not a crazy right. fan. I just like his music because he tells the story. Right. But I'm not like, ah, oh, yeah. you know, Drake is still gay, so. <laughs> you know, I don't know. I just don't see what everybody else sees in all the time. Like, no, he can sing and his music is good, but I don't see the attraction. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, he's too skinny. That's no he looked, This outfit was a mess. Ooh. They say he looked like Mega from um, ah! Proud Family. Ooh. Or he looked like this scary thing, Wait. this thing from Proud Family. When this thing came, this, um. You know what that was? I was that in the Princess of the Frog? It was, right? It was in the yeah. Princess of the Frog. Yeah, that's how he looked. He didn't, mm -mm. I know he was trying to. I'm he glad you can see again. He said he styled himself. So that's why. That proves that. So, this yeah, this outfit was just wrong. I don't need. Mm, the spike edges. shoes, the leather pants, the coat. His legs look like two toothpicks. What the? <laughs> I didn't even see it. It didn't look. Oof, God, I didn't. He look didn't look like he was gonna be in. He was in L. A. Yeah, no, he just looks a damn mess. I'm August, sorry. get it together. Get fire, fire your stylist. All y'all women, on. get your man. Tell him he look a mess. Cause get your boyfriend. He just looks a mess. Get it just. <laughs> so the next look we're gonna talk about is Natari Norton from Power. You guys know her, yes. She was on Be Power. Tasha. She was in 3LW. She, she was Lil Kim and Notorious. <laughs> so y'all know her, but okay. So after review of this picture, <sighs> I like the outfit. <laughs> I do like the outfit. I love the hair. I like the outfit. She's what's her name? 
I like it because she took it. It was very like Afrocentric, mm -hmm. and I'm all for it. I don't care what nobody say. Call me. Yeah, I, don't know, I don't give a shit. I love when artists or when people, period, yeah. like to take it back. And I feel like this outfit is just. And she took a risk. Yes. I she there. definitely did. This outfit represents, you know, African American culture. And, you know, you can't go wrong with it. So whoever wants to sit there and be ignorant and say something about it, just shut up and say that. Right. Yourself. I think she looks She looks very nice. She looks really beautiful. From the makeup to the dress to the clutch to her hair, everything perfect. Wait, wait. Um, what up, that? Oh yeah, let's do Brandy. Cause everybody was coming for Brandy. Cause Brandy said she was trying to do like a whimsical look, and then somebody like made a meme. Obviously, you know, everybody makes memes these days. Talking about, oh Brandy, what look were you going for? And then they posted like a gorilla picture next to it. Y'all need to leave Brandy alone. I keep saying this. Leave the legends alone. Brandy is a legend. Mm -hmm. Bow down. Like, thank you. Brandy looked amazing to me. Like, I do not care. I love the dress. I love the poofy bottom. I love the pink shoes. Mm -hmm. I love the hair. I love the natural look. And Brandy is in this. I was watching an interview with her like a couple weeks ago. And she's just in this different, like, mind space. Mm -hmm. and so she loves herself. She loves her life. Mm -hmm. And I love it. Like, I don't care what nobody say. Brandy looks amazing. Ray J look a mess. Ah, girl, I was thinking. That's y'all boo. Y'all don't know why y'all like Ray J that much. Ray J to me is trash. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He's a loser. I don't care what nobody say. Like, Brandy, bye. the words out of my mouth. Brandy look good, girl. Oh, yes, Brandy. This is this whole outfit is so Brandy. It is so. Brandy, oh, is it? The hair, it. whether it's not hers or whether it is hers, is amazing. Fabulous. Less Natural hair is in. Yes. Less Brandy less body less. is a freaking one. She's always in the gym, getting it ready, getting it tight. And the dress, the dress is definitely flawless. I will get that dress for myself. That dress is so damn nice. Y'all just need to stop it. And the shoes. I mean, not seriously. I she's like a ballerina, like a cute little ballerina. Yes. It's just that she was standing next to Ray J. That's probably why I got like Megan right. Thomas. Ray J. look a mess. Yeah, he really do. He looking like 2000 with the big old damn shirt. Ray J. Go to that. Like yeah. Ray J. But I love Brandy and Ray J's relationship. That's yeah, one thing that, I can yeah, say. Yeah, I, I have two younger brothers, so I love like the, 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 the brother-sister. I love it. I love that. But other than that, Brandy look good. I'm Ray J. Ray J. Shut up. Uh, Thumbs down. Like, worst dress. Brandy. Definitely my worst dress. For sure. Mm -hmm. Let's go to, let's go to see, see. This is Tiara, and uh, what's her name? Is her name? Russell Wilson. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Girl. She should have just been single. Let me tell you something, ladies. When you go through a breakup, listen to Bree. Listen, I understand you want to get up under somebody else, take him out. No. <laughs> get up into your work. Okay. Get up into something that makes you happy. That again? Get up in your work. Not get up into another dude. Because, Ciara, this is two seconds away from being another Bow Wow 50 future of Mari Stoudemire. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of She's it. Sick of it. You need to um, figure out, out why of my your damn album is. Thank you. I bought it for no reason. 9,000 copies? 9,000, not even 9,000 copies. She sold $9,000. I was one like, of those people who bought it. And I was girl, I don't know why. I like about I bought one songs. single. I bet. I'm mad. That's why I should have bought just the singles. I bought the damn album because I have faces. See, y'all, the last album, good album with goodies. <laughs> For real, because the last album with Future was horrible. <laughs> you know what it is, Ciara still haven't grasped. Her, the her artistry. Yes, That's she has it, and you know she needs to stick to her dance songs. The she last, needs I, to. Yeah, no, the, I can't even front. The last Ciara album I bought was when she taught you how to do promise. Oh, that that's when she was, was thick. Mm -hmm. That's when she was still thick. I can't even front. That was a good album. It was goody, yes. and then it was the one where she taught you how to do promise. Yes. And then after that, yes. it went down where she tried to be super C and all that. Yeah. Super, 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 super. So she lost me. I didn't buy the album. Mm -hmm. But yeah. her dress, see, I run. I'm not too thin skinny. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I get you want to be in the gym looking fit because you do your modeling. The the Roberto Cavalli mm -hmm. spread was I liked it, but you're too goddamn skinny and. That's what I'm working. I didn't like the dress at all. Russell, he's, he's not a, he's not he's not photogenic. He's a, I don't like uh, it. And I'm uh, like piggybacking off of Brie. I have to uh, say, I just the thing I don't like about Ciara is she goes too quickly with these men. Uh, Fifty Cent, you put him in your video. Bow Wow, who was in your video? Future, he's in Body Party. 
what's Russell gonna be in? Like, mm -hmm. I, she just moved too quick. And she just shot the video for Dance Like You Make It Love. Oh, so we're gonna see Lord who Jesus. in this video. And that's gonna be his ugly. Yeah, because I don't know. I just feel like she just moved too quick. You just broke away. He cheated on you all that. Y'all over. You have your son to focus on. You need to focus on your career. Mm -hmm. Not, Do you not I'm love yourself, man. see? Like, what's going on? That, I don't know. Let's move on. Because I'm going to get psyched. See, y'all, well, I just feel like she can just be so much more yeah, amazing she than she is. I have faith in her. I really do. I feel that. like she needs to give up music and mm -hmm. focus on modeling. Mm -hmm. Like, you can mm -hmm. dance your ass off, Sierra. Yeah, I can't yeah. even run. You can Open dance your dance school. ass off, but. The, I guess the, the, I don't think the music career is. Her voice for you. is still shitty.
table thing set up. It's so. too much going on, too, too much print. The print is like yeah, it's too just, much. And the shoes was, were bad. Yeah, Girl. it was kind of basic. The whole outfit was basic. Yeah, I don't know what those shoes were from. It looked like some shoe dad. Them shoes and them look, but your hair was cute, your face would be. I would just focus, as you know, we saw her breasts the night before I'm house. So I was like, <laughs> that's all I was like, oh shoot, I just saw Lala's breasts. Just, Woo! I don't know. I don't know. But let's go. I'm still getting used to her acting. I'm really getting used to her. I love her though. Do, but, um, Let's talk about it. Let's do two more. Let's do K Michelle and Tamar. Cause okay. if you guys watch my face, K Michelle and Tamar made a uh, Wooly do it, and I was I was so well. excited because I love Tamar and that I love K Michelle. Thank you. And that beat was dumb. It was all the stupid men hits. Like, mm -hmm. what did he do? Men who? Men who? Thank what? you, Tamar K. They on another level. Like, Maybe and they're both talented singers. Songwriters, amazing performers, yeah, and y'all just fighting for no reason. So, I would wait before we move on. But did you catch how she checked Drea on the BT? Ooh. Girl, I had to do the vlog. I had to do it because make sure you check out her blog. Yes, it's what's the word to these dot blogspot.com. Yes, so. But I had to when I caught it. That's why I love K Michelle. Cause she gets right to the, the point, point and she do not give a damn. She's and to sum it all up, if you guys follow her on Instagram at K Michelle Music, she posted a picture of that day and cropped Dre out. Ooh. I gotta look at that when I go home because I did not. I was like, I love you, K Michelle. Because Drea is just. I love K. Drea. And you know, just like her home has got deleted, her memory got deleted that same night. And Drea, I'm gonna need for you to. Um, Get it together, please. <laughs> find your memory, cause girl, you be acting hard on basketball wives. But I can't wait for that come on. We can be getting no Megan, from back, Megan, girl, Andrea, Jackie's back, Tammy, Shawnee, and then Evelyn even said she's making an appearance. Ooh, my baby, Ooh, Evelyn Lozada is making an appearance. Ooh. Yes, y'all heard it here Ooh. first. Ooh. That's my baby. I love Ooh. Evelyn. Ooh. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> <laughs> All my cancers. <laughs> but now, look, Kim look 
I like the blonde hair. She definitely, I didn't think her makeup looked bad. Me neither. I, yeah. I thought it was deep. Like, everything was on point. People just want to have something to talk about. Yeah, I, mean, I, I like the blonde hair. hair. Yes, that lace front was popping. Like, and last, but definitely, definitely, not least, we have to talk about my auntie Janet Jackson. Five, four, three, two, eight. But before we get even get into Janet Jackson, can I talk about this trivia real quick? Ciara killed it. I get that stuff. Yeah. Ciara was left. I thought I was watching Janet at no, one point. But she came hair, out. Wait, which one? She that? came out doing this, this, this part, just this. Yeah. When that, she did yes, that, yes, she bodied that. She looked just like Janet. I, I thought it was Janet real quick. Yeah, yes. I ran into the room. I was like, oh shoot, Janet is performing. Yeah, it was Ciara. But it was Ciara. But she killed it. See, I made me feel like I was watching Janet, Janet. And that was the perfect part. Definitely. But, ooh. Let's get into <laughs> the rest. The thing, let's start. Overall, I didn't like the tribute. <laughs> she said I did. <laughs> Because you know, I, I'm a big Janet Jackson fan, right. so I hold this tribute to like the highest yes, level, yes, and this is Janet Jackson, 165 million albums sold, the most number ones on one album out of any artist, she has seven number one, I could go on and on, I love Janet Jackson, I live, so I just thought the tribute was bad, freaking Tinashe, that was a mess, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I felt like she was just all over the place. Yeah, it wasn't it consistent. Was, yeah, it was like, it wasn't hey, how CC is sharp yeah. and controlled. Jason Derulo. First of all, we had Chris Brown dance his ass off in everybody's performance. Why y'all didn't get Chris Brown to do it? They probably didn't want him to do it because he did the Michael Jackson trip. So well, you have to get people that can do a good yeah, job. Yeah, that that's going to slay the stage. Jason Derulo. Jason Derulo. No. No. He looked like one in the background. Yes, you should have been home. I'm sorry. Then we got to Miss Ciara. Ooh. I obviously knew Ciara was gonna slay. Ciara yeah. can dance her ass off. Yeah. And she did. And she looked like Janet. And I loved it. Yeah. The one yeah. thing I feel like was missing from the trivia, I don't know if you feel that the same way. I they nobody sang. Oh. Well Ciara. She didn't sing though. She did it. She can't sing. So that would have yeah. been an epic. But show. at least because Ciara has that, because Janet Jackson's voice is kind of like soft too. Even though Janet could sing, but it's like soft. And see, I have that same soft voice. I don't. I just feel like I, the singing yeah, was missing. Somebody should have performed. I didn't like the background music of just Janet's yeah. music, voice in the back of them just dancing. Exactly. That that wasn't a tribute to me. Tribute was dancing, singing. It was. It just looked like a school show. Yeah, I think that's why I didn't like the tribute. <laughs> I think that's. <laughs> Oh, we go in. That's why I know. I know because, like I said again, I love Janet. So I just right. and I was waiting for this tribute. And it also probably was because the simple fact that Janet didn't perform. I was excited and kind of expected her to perform, but she didn't. But I guess she's probably saving all her energy for her tour. Nevertheless, I was still excited to see her. So, yeah. <laughs> and it wasn't so, as we thought it would be. But the best part of the tribute was when Janet walked her ass off with oh, the wavy. Yeah, the back in the day Janet. She was giving you oh, 1993, that's, that's Janet Jackson, yeah. yes, 1993, with the wavy, oh, the jumpsuit, yes, the body on fleek, yeah, the body's always on fleek, I need to yeah, know what, what she does, because you know Janet can be fat today, and then and skinny on Friday, and she, but she still <laughs> look good, she got that yes. healthy fat, yes. cause it go right to the booty, yes. it don't go nowhere Thank else. you. Shit. She living real good in Abu Dhabi, Dubai with her husband, her rich Ooh, ass husband. I wish I had her husband. Yes. When she shouted out her husband, I was like, oh, it's so cute. And her face look amazing. Like, she still has this youthful, like, yes, look yes, about her. Yeah, she got that. From good times. What like, I like, though, is that she got that Jackson look. That's that Jackson look. Definitely. And it don't look bad on her like it look on the other Latoya. Because Latoya Ooh, messed her scary. face up. The thing is, Janet only did her nose. And it, 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 it looks regular, right, though. Latoya did her nose, yeah. her cheeks, her eyes, her eyebrows. Oh, she looks like nostrils. Can, uh, she scares yeah. me. I don't like to see her on TV. Yeah, it's creepy. But overall, Janet, you look amazing. I love you. Yes. I you freaking did. love you. Your voice. You're so humble, so cute. I cannot wait to see you on tour. Like, I hope it's not expensive. Now, Janet. Please add the New York date because you're playing. 
Like, I, I, somebody told me, oh, she's doing the, the New York show in 2016. Mm -hmm. So I guess, okay, it gives me some time to like yeah, save wait point. and then like anticipation. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna get angry when I see people start posting videos in other states Stay. and exactly. I'm not there. But I just want her to put some music on iTunes so I can. Okay, oh yes, by the way, out. if you guys did not hear her new song, No Sleep, mm -hmm. I will link it below in the description. <laughs> So make sure you guys definitely go listen to I love that song. Very, very old. So that was the song that was playing. When she was walking out. Mm -hmm. and now, I like the beat. It yeah. It's very really old Janet. Like, the, she's bringing Sit back, back the 90s Janet. Yes. Anytime, any place. Mm -hmm. Sit back and drink some wine and listen to that. I love Janet. But teach that's, these girls. Teach them. Thank you. Thank you. But <laughs> <laughs> that's all the list for today. Beyonce wasn't there. She's never there. <laughs> Beyonce was never going to be there. Like, she was at home with Blue writing the song. Pretty nice. So that's it for the BT Awards special. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Comment below what was your favorite looks, what was your favorite part of the award show. And don't forget to share this video if you like. And if this is your first time watching my videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I want to thank Brittany again for joining me today. Again, follow her on Instagram at... Read a blogger underscore. And her blog is called What's the word? 2D.blogspot.com. Definitely check her out. And yeah, I'll see you guys <laughs> this Friday again because I will be posting two videos a week, which, oh my god, I'm giving myself a lot of editing. Yep, I just said two videos a week. Not work. Because for July, I'm doing July Collaboration Month. Because my birthday is in July. All my July babies, what's up? Yay. So I wanted to do something <laughs> special for the month of July. So the whole month of July, I will be doing Collaboration Month. This video kicks off basically Collaboration Month. So I will be doing that. So it'll be two videos a week. So you'll see a video today, Monday, and a video on Friday. So every Monday and every Friday for July, you'll see a new video. So I'll see you guys on Friday. <laughs> Have a good week. Peace and love. I'm Bria Van Kooten, and I'm signing out. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye. I'm really giving you guys Janet Jackson tea today. Like, <laughs> this is Janet circa 1997 together again. Yes, I'm giving you guys Janet Jackson tea today. <laughs> I was feeling it in my spirit this morning when I woke up, you know, so... My last name is Control. No, my first name ain't Baby. It's Janet. She's Jackson.